and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as promised, is going to be my review on the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I just picked up the shade Light Ivory W2, and I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the things that I liked about it first, and then I'll go ahead and talk about the things that I did not like about it. So, so the first thing that I did like, actually I'm going to go ahead and set it down so that I don't whip it and it goes flying and breaks all over my room somewhere. Um, but the first thing that I did like about the product is the consistency. It is very lightweight um, and it's not thick at all. It goes on so smooth. It's super blendable just like it says on the bottle um, and I really did like that aspect of it. The second thing that I really liked about it is um, the fact that I picked the right shade. Um, usually when I have foundation on, my boyfriend tells me that I look kind of orange um, or that I have too much makeup on when really all I have on is foundation. I don't have any like concealer or anything like that. He'll tell me that I have too much, found too much makeup on and that's because I'm picking the wrong shade. With this foundation, he did not say that at all to me one time when I only had on foundation. He didn't tell me I looked a little orange. He, There were no negative comments at all from him other than like, oh, I wish you wouldn't wear makeup. Um, or you take forever to do your makeup. However, with the L'Oreal True Match, I did not take forever to do my makeup because the product is so extremely blendable. It takes maybe a minute to apply it, which when you're running out the door for work, it's very important for your foundation to be able to go on super quick and be blended. Um, that hasn't really been the case in the past with foundations that I have had, so I really do, I really did like that aspect of the True Match foundation. The third thing that I liked about the foundation is that it has SPF in it. It has SPF 17, so it protects your skin, and I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it says broad spectrum SPF, so it protects your skin from UVA and UVB rays. I'm pretty sure that, that, that that's what it does. Um, and it's in 17, so it's protecting your skin from the damaging rays of the sun. Even when you don't think that your skin is getting damaged by the sun, when you're in the car, your face is getting hit by the sun during the day. So you are getting those UVA and UVB rays. So it's good to have a product on your face that protects you, your skin from the sunlight. Now there were some downsides to the foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know about those as well. I don't want this to just be like a super positive, yeah, go out and buy this foundation type of review. I'm giving you my open and honest opinion on a product, so I want you to be able to have that knowledge that I have for it. My first con for the L'Oreal True Match Foundation is that it is not oil absorbing. I have extremely oily skin. I joke and say that my face is like an oil slick because it kind of is, and I need to have a foundation that absorbs the oil and that will help my skin not look like I just dumped my face in a vat of oil. And unfortunately, the L'Oreal True Match just did not provide me with that aspect. And so with even with as much powder as I would put on, or setting spray, or oil blotting sheets, my skin was still extremely oily because of it. And that's definitely a negative for me is that it didn't have those oil, oil absorbing properties in it. And the only other negative that I have for it is just the SPF aspect of it because in my hobby, making videos and also taking pictures, SPF causes a shine on your face. So no matter how matte your face looks in the mirror, um, if it has, if you have SPF on it, it is going to look shiny um, in video and in picture. So I know that I said that the SPF is a pro because it is for everyday use because you don't want to, you, you know, you want to have those SPF properties in your products on your face for anti-aging and prevention from sun cancer or from skin cancer from the sun and damaging rays hitting your skin. Um, just for videos and stuff, the SPF is a big negative for it. So that is just my review on 
the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I hope that this video is helpful and informative to you guys. If you have any suggestions for foundation for oily skin, please leave them in the comments below, as well as any products that you would like to see me do a review on. Um, and if you have any video requests as well, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow in a little vlog that I recorded for my birthday. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And also hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can catch my new videos when they come out. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then sometimes random videos mixed in um, throughout the week. But that's just going to be it for today. I hope that you guys are having an amazing day. And I'll see you tomorrow. I love you.